Which one do you put in your um, container for the gym? What do you put in your container for the gym? Oh, this one? No, this one. And this is during the gym? Oh, yeah, I like Tutti Fruity. This is like a BCA during the gym. This is what we're doing today, guys. What is this? <coughs> Tutacious Frutacious. <laughs> That's her long. That's her long version. Huh? Tutti Fruity is her nickname. Yeah. Tutacious <laughs> Frutacious is her, her birth name. <laughs> To dynasty for dynasty. <laughs> to dynasty to dynasty. I wonder if the police officer would like pull you over, like, sir. That's like worse than being on your phone. Wait, we can't have music playing. You know, that's how you vlog, right? <laughs> you know I'm gonna get paid off my first fucking vlog, bitch. You know I can't get um copyright. Copyright. Dude, vlogging was have such a boring fucking car ride. That's why I talk so much, right? Because oh, they're yeah. like, what are we gonna do? Dude, my sleep was only 73. Oh, that, I went to sleep at 10:30. That's my lowest score yet. What time? How many hours did you sleep? Six hours and 27 minutes, that's still pretty long. Oh, five hours and 59 minutes. I only had 40 minutes of REM sleep, that's a fast ass dream. Everything else is good though. But my readiness score is only 78. It knows when I go to the gym. It says like, my recovery index is like still working. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, like how does it even know that? So when you don't go to the gym, or your body can like, when you, yeah, it makes sense though, because when you go to the gym so hard, you have a hard time sleeping like, when your muscles are sore. But then when you don't go to the gym and you're nothing sore in your body, you can sleep easily. I have the hardest sleeping after a bath day because it just hurts. Vibes girl. Wait, what did she say? Vegas girl. I'm not about to go driving a Honda. Father <laughs> girls do not drive a Honda. <laughs>
Okay, so we finished the workout. One minute and 14. I mean, one hour <laughs> and 14 minutes. It says we did 450 calorie burn in there. I hope I did. I'm pretty sure we did more. No? That's a little to me. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. So we're gonna go home. Whoa. We're gonna go home. This thing is so good because it like knows like where your eyes are. So it grabs you. Yeah, I accidentally out of focus on your butt wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an accident. <laughs> so we're gonna go home. What time is it? Eight. And we have to leave at 11. We need an hour to get ready, so that's 10. Probably an hour and a half to get ready, so that's 9.30. So we have an hour, okay? okay. So, protein go? shake, then you have to shower, and then I have to shower, and then I'll make some breakfast, and then we can get ready. Hey! <laughs> Wait. It just smells like mold. Okay, so we're gonna put ice, then egg. Ooh, come on. <laughs> then some almond cashew mac and nut beverage. It's basically because I'm lactose intolerant before I die. Actually, before everybody else dies. Then um, a banana. I'm gonna do one scoop of chocolate protein powder, a big scoop. And some peanut butter. Just watch the vlog, don't have to watch me. <laughs> Honestly, it comes out so creamy with the egg. I still don't know if it's just safe, but it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Last straw. It's just really fun. It's like Okay, you say hi to the camera. Yeah. Hi, guys. This is also for post workout. There's three balls. Who wants one? Let's store it. Right. Save us the calories. because that's where the iPono Cafe pop-up is. So we just pulled into ballet because um, we never self-park, that's crazy. But this is us going in, and then of course, the first thing I had to do was get a Starbucks. Okay, so we just saw our friend Cherise walk in, and this is her, but she is just crazy. She's always telling crazy stories. She's so loud, she's so fun, and she's our favorite. So she told us that we had to come to this iPono um, pop-up, so that's the reason why we're here. So basically, we waited in this long line for over an hour just to get this amazing food, and it was really, really good. So this is us obviously showing Instagram first, and then you guys what we're eating, and then we had to give it a little taste test, you know? Well, even before that, we saw our friend Regan, so we decided, hey Regan, we gotta take a picture with you. So we took a picture, and then of course, Sharice grabs her phone out, and she has to put the flash on and put me on her Instagram, but you know, I'm always down for that, so. And then we eat all of the food, um, it's so, so good. Okay. Okay, so now we're headed to the hair store and the, and the camera store. 
But the hair store, we're gonna get a perm solution for my brother Kaden because he wants to perm his hair. So right now I just have all the perm rods in and then I just put water just to see if we like it and then if he likes it, like if it looks nice and he wants to have hair like that, then we'll perm it because perming is permanent. And I also have to get a um, card reader for my laptop because I can't make the videos yet because it's stuck on my it's stuck on that the camera. It's like a DoorDash. Maybe Amazon. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, now this water tastes so nasty because I never drank it in so long. After drinking Kangen, Kangen, maybe I can find one of those grippy um tripods over there. This one's good, but I just need more options. No, it's not like grippy. It's like you yeah, mold it, right? Yeah. But I think the legs are like kind of grippy, you know? I wonder if I can put pictures in on when I edit the videos. Like, oh, we saw our friend Regan and I'm gonna put a picture of it. <laughs> on Final Cut, you can, but I don't know about iMovie. Yeah. Final Cut, you can even add a picture and then make it like pop in and then pop out. <laughs> and it's only $200? Yeah, it's $200 forever or just I like for a year? Like, for the whole, like, program. That's so cheap. Oh. I mean, that's the membership for a year. Because they know like these fuckers are making so much money off of it. Peloton, did a 30 minute workout, and now before I jump into the shower, I'm actually gonna use the purple shampoo on my hair when it's dry. When you use the purple shampoo on your hair when it's dry, it actually soaks up more of the purple color. Versus when your hair is wet, it sucks up it sucks up the water, and then whatever else your hair can hold, then the, the shampoo will go on top. So I like to do it dry. I actually never toned my hair yet since we um, bleached it, so this really helps to keep it nice and toned. Um, I've been liking the Reagan Red Kim Purple Shampoo for a while now. I used to be a Joico Purple Shampoo, but I just really like the balance and the intensity of the purple. Purple is an even mixture of blue and red, but sometimes the shampoos might be a little bit too blue. And if your hair is too yellow for the blue, then you could get green hair. And I see a lot of people with that. So i just been liking Purple Shampoo. I give it to all my girls. My sister uses the Red Kim. Um, so if you've been looking for a good purple shampoo, Reiki one's really good and it actually smells good too. I mean it smells good to me because it smells kind of like cologne but maybe to a girl it's kind of awkward but you can always get like a good smelling conditioner too. Because the conditioner is basically going to be the scent that's sitting on your hair after you leave the shower. So we'll just kind of put this on. And then by the time I take off my clothes and start the shower and ready to wash off my hair, it should be around 5 minutes. So that'll be good. So this is what it looks like fresh out of the shower. It's slightly lavender, but it's wet. So once it dries, it'll be very white. I also like to tone my girl's hair when they want like white, white hair to like slightly lavender because for some reason it like disappears when it's white. So if your hair is like white when it's wet, it usually kind of dries a little yellow. And then if it's blonde when it's wet, then it's gonna be yellow for sure. But also I used the Lumi in the shower this morning. So you can see how, this is just like nothing on my skin, so it's just clean skin. Um, and then I'll put on my face stuff, and then get dressed, and then we'll head to work. So, this is kind of like one of my favorites for the past, I don't know how long, but we'll be using some of this. And then I usually like to put like one spray of Black Orchid, it's by Tom Ford. And then I just like to put one spray of this like where I'm in it. Just a little bit. It'll be good to go. Also, came home to finally getting my packages from my vendor in China. These are all my lash bath bottles. So hopefully I can do kind of like how we put this together maybe. If I have enough time, but super excited for that. Alright, 
right, so it's actually 7.20, 7.30 right now. So we're running a little bit late, but um, I'm still gonna get a Starbucks. So we'll do that pretty fast. Um, that's our new neighbor. <laughs> They're actually really nice. <clears throat> they just moved in. Well, the, the guy, the husband, he owns a, um, a turf company. So maybe if we barbecue for them one night, then we could turf our backyard completely. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we'll go grab a Starbucks and then we'll head into the salon and we'll get straight to work. Um, I have a full day today. It's actually Sunday my day off, but since we leave Wednesday morning, I am opted out to not work on Tuesday. So instead of on Tuesday, then I'm working on Sunday. So it kind of works out. I, at least it gives me a full day too if I have to run any last minute errands um, and just get everything packed away. Um, get the house situated, the dogs, and then um, get everything packed and ready to go for Wednesday morning. I think we have an early flight um, to Hawaii. So I think we believe, I believe we have like a short layover in LA and then we go to the big island and then we'll be there for, we have a family reunion and then we'll be there for Father's Day. So that's really nice. So I'll get to take you guys to Hawaii. So that will be fun. Um, but yeah, let's go get a coffee. We're just pulling up to Starbucks now. So I'm gonna have to get a sandwich and a drink. Okay, to go straight to work. Starbucks company, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Are we getting food started for you today? Yes, can I get a turkey, bacon, cheddar, and egg white sandwich? Can I get a packet of sriracha, please? Yeah, sure. And then I'll do a venti brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. All right, venti brown sugar shake and espresso, okay. Can I get an extra shot, please? Sure. That would be all. Yes. What's your name? Kai. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I was like, yes, and hi. Okay. Those are really good names. Yes. <laughs> what's, your, what's your name? Kai. Kai, perfect. All right, Kai, I'll have three at the window. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Uh, no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. All right, so this is my new Starbucks. They, every single worker, oh my God, this is crazy. This is like the 10th time I went here and I've never had a regular worker. Like everyone's so nice, it's crazy. Like whoever's a hiring manager, so if you're in Vegas and you can make this, make it work, I mean, you can make this work. This is the Starbucks on Sunset and Rainbow. They're so nice and there's like never a wait. It's, it's crazy. I don't know if people don't know about this Starbucks or what, but they are so nice. Anyways, I don't know if you guys heard, but um, I guess at the end of the order, she said, can I have a name for the order? But I was already like looking on my phone to uh, open the Starbucks app. So I thought in my head, I just made it up what she said, but I swear she just, Said. I was thinking she's probably gonna say like is that all you want so I said yes and then she didn't say anything so I was like wait what and then she's like can I have a name for the order and then she like laughed because I was like oh I I, I understood I, I realized what was going on <clears throat> very normal for me very ADHD but so I gave her my name but anyways they were super nice of course the girl at the window she's super nice but um, yay we got coffee we still have 15 minutes and we're only five minutes from work, so we'll be okay, we'll be okay. I can get ready in 10 minutes for my girls, but like, honestly, I like to have a little bit more time because that's a little stressful, but let's go to work. I've been stuck on this um, brown sugar, oat milk, chicken espresso. I like it with an extra shot because I like my coffee to be pretty, like, not super sweet, so it's so good. Like, it's just really so good. I like a caramel macchiato, but I feel like it's too sweet. And then I also feel like a cold brew is a little bit too not sweet, but the cold brew with the sweet cold foam cold, what? Sweet cold foam cold, sweet cold foam or whatever. Um, that just makes my stomach hurt because I'm lactose intolerant and there's no way to make that like lactose free. So, so far this has been really good. I tried to get it sugar free, but apparently, um, um, there's only vanilla sugar-free syrup at Starbucks, so that wasn't an option, but I don't know, I think this is really good. So if you guys wanna try something that's like right in the middle of sweetness and coffee, um, try this. I just do the venti iced 
um, brown sugar, oat milk, es shaken espresso with an extra shot of espresso. So good. Also, I'm wearing like a dome cap right now, so when I get out of the shower, you probably saw when my hair was wet when I was showing the color that it was like all standing up. When it's blonde, I like to have it like laying down. So I just put water. I tried like a bunch of different products like Suavecito and like a light gel or like a mousse. Um, and it all worked, but it kind of made my hair crunchy or like just too flat. Um, but when I just use water and I just wet the hair and then I put the dome cap on and let it dry, it only takes like 30 minutes. And then when I take off the dome cap, my hair like lays flat for the rest of the day the only junk thing is like if it gets wet it will stand up again um just because it's just dried flat it's not like product or anything but it works really nice and um yeah that's why like when you see me with blonde hair you my hair is like always lying flat versus like if i don't have my hair blonde or like you know then it's like standing up naturally it just stands up but some people like hispanics they're just born blessed with their hair lying down and um, i don't know that's just just living a blessing, I guess. Here's a fit check. I bring an Aaron Kai hair brick shirt. And then just some, these are some comfy Nike athletic shorts. They're really stretchy, I like the color. Um, and then these are just some um, Nike shoes. I don't even know which ones they are, but I've just been wearing these for like the past two weeks. Not even, like maybe like four weeks. Every once in a while, I kind of like change my shoe that I wear every day to work, and then I'll just wear it for like a month, and then I'll switch it out. But um, at the old house before I moved, I had like a bad habit of leaving everything by the front door. So now that I leave everything in my closet, I end up just using the same pair. So I'll probably change it out when we get back from Hawaii and use something different. Maybe it's like dunk clothes or something. Um, but these are really comfy and I've just been using them at work. They've been really, really nice. And it's summertime. Sometimes in the wintertime when I use these, they're so thin that um, I feel like they're like just socks with like soles. So in the wintertime it gets a little cold. But in the summertime it's perfect. So this is what we're wearing today. Peace. So we are done for the day, tired. My body's not used to working on a Sunday, but let's call Mark and then we will head home. Oh, this is what my hair looks like after we take off that hat thing. I mean the bald cap. Hola. Hola. I'm Hola. leaving now. Okay, we just got home. See you soon. Goodbye. Bye. All right. I'm actually gonna go to dump my car trash. I have like a trash can in my car, but I'm just gonna dump it really fast. Right over here at the um, dumpsters that they have here at the salon parking lot. Let's go home. I have some stuff to do. I gotta make some lash bats and then probably relax for a little bit. All right, so last minute, I decided that I should go jump in the tiny booth really fast because I'm gonna go to Hawaii soon and I like to, before I go on vacation, I like to go in the tiny booth at least three times because then it doesn't make me sunburnt at all when I go in the sun. So let's go. Let's go tan.
Okay, so now that we're at home, I'm just gonna unpack these boxes. So I want to show you guys the boxes, the folded boxes, how they come in. And then we started taking out the bottles. When they send the bottles to me from my vendor in China, they actually individually wrap each one just to make sure that nothing goes in the bottles and they stay completely sanitary. So here's us unpacking them one by one and just kind of putting them in um, order because we're gonna have to do a lot more to them before we can you know put them away so I was this is me just kind of like putting them in sections counting them and making sure that we had enough and we obviously added a little bit more um, but I wanted to make a batch of 120 so this is me showing the genuine rose course that we put in each bottle and what this does is it helps to make sure that the when people shake the bottle that it's really even um, and then of course you put the natural energies from the rose quartz so it's gonna have love and self-care and self-respect and all of those good energies so here is me filling up the um, bottles of Lash Bath with um, purified water. You can see my cell phone because what it does is it shines the light through the bottle so I know exactly where to fill it up to so that it doesn't overflow when we put the caps in. So now we're putting the caps in and I just like to lay them all down um, and then once they're all in place because I have to open them one by one too and once they're in place then we can screw them all on. Um, so I like to screw, I like to take off the actual caps from these nozzles and then screw them on because that way I can make sure that they're super tight because if I leave those caps on top of it and try to screw it on it just doesn't really work so after they're all screwed on then I'm gonna um, place the caps one by one and then we'll start making the boxes and boxing them up so my sister came home with a custom Marie calendar Kai box that says life with Kai because I just dropped my very first episode um, so we got to enjoy that and then it was time to start doing my brother's perm so what I did was I got four different types of perm rods and what this does is it makes sure that like it's a very natural texture versus something that's a little bit too uniform it looks very permed um, so the first section that I started off with was the shorter rods so this is um, the section that I like to use um, it's very clean, um, but it only can be as wide as the first rod. So this is um, the first row all rolled up, and then here is the second row. Um, you can see the barbecue skewer that I used, and what that does is it makes sure that if any of them are lifting off the head, that it stays very, very um, close to the head. And then this is me finishing all of the vertical ones and then I also did some horizontal ones on the back of his head um, and then I just have this little section left to go so this is what it looks like after everything is rolled um, I made sure it's very clean it was tedious but um, it's worth it and I know I would never do this for anybody else but for my brother yeah I would so this is what it looks like after it's all rolled The waving solution that we use to um, do the perm so if you can see I'm applying it to each perm rod one at a time and making sure that I'm getting a very good saturation so this is the whole head covered in perm solution and then I have to start rinsing his head so we have to use warm water and we're gonna rinse for a minimum of five to ten minutes so you just want to keep letting that water run through because I want to get out all the waving solution so that when I neutralize it it's not neutralizing waving solution it's actually just neutralizing the hair so we're gonna rinse 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 And then this is me applying the neutralizer and what this is going to do is it's going to solidify the hair in the new curl pattern that we put it and then he's going to have curly hair permanently. So basically we're going to let this sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. I actually let it sit for the full 10 minutes and then what we're going to do is start unwrapping the perm rods.
the morning let's go to my nail appointment it's eight o'clock in the morning so it's an early nail appointment but i wanted to take you guys along so you guys can see how i get these flames on my nails this is my beautiful nail tech her name is rory of course i got her a coffee because again it's an eight o'clock appointment in the morning so a coffee is important so let's go get our nails done So we're going to my next appointment and this is going to be my body contouring appointment and then we're going to go to Lash Dolls LV at their new location at Solo Salon. So basically if you guys want to book a body contouring appointment with them, um, I'll put their information below in the description. And if you just mention Life with Kai, they'll give you 20% off your first purchase. So if we do one appointment, then you get 20% off of that. But if you do a package deal, you actually get 20% off the package. So it's a really good deal. Um, this is Jaslyn. She's also from Hawaii. She's super, super nice and she does my body contouring over there. Alright, now let's head to Paina Cafe because I wanted to pick up some Pokeballs on the way home. My sister and I went into the theater to watch the hockey game because I had a great feeling that this was going to be the championship game. Flying out to Hawaii tomorrow and this is the day off that I set aside so I could pack and it's currently 10 p.m. and I haven't even got the suitcases out yet but let's make some dinner and then we'll start packing. <music> 